<laughs> so yeah, like uh, like Gadget, I've taken a trip to hell and I've been playing Metal Hell Singer, and um, I've been really really enjoying it. I didn't, I mean. I sort of knew what to expect in terms of what the trailers had been showing me because I've been kind of glued to this game's development. I've been looking forward to it for a long time. Um, but it didn't give a whole lot away. Um, and this is by a studio called The Outsiders. I believe it's the first game that they've done. I couldn't find any information about anything else they've done. Yeah, it's the first um, game. It's really fun. It's it's dumb fun. It's, mm. it's not going to last you. I, I think there's... Gadget, you said you played three levels, hadn't you? Yeah. I've played seven, and I, I believe there's ten. Nine right. or ten. Oh, um, right. And if you... So the game, basically, it's a first-person shooter. Um, but the twist on this is that you have to um, shoot things in time with the music. So... Be, 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 um, what, that was, what was that Bullets per minute. Time? Bullets per minute, that's it. It's mm. literally exactly the same game, but with better graphics. Yeah. yeah, take the that gameplay is- from bullets per minute and then filter it through Doom Eternal. That's where you are. <laughs> I was going to say it's a nice, uh, a nice mix of Doom and uh, and sort of guitar hero. Doom maybe. lately. <laughs> but yeah, I um, I was a little bit worried again because I'm not very good at first person shooters. Like it's just not a, the type of game I usually play. But obviously, I was attracted to the metal, so I gave it a go. And it's not difficult. It was if it wasn't difficult for me to grasp it's just not a difficult game at all now granted i am playing it on easy so i don't know how hard it is on normal um but in terms of actually like quite hard like on normal um Mm -hmm. i i I, I, I struggled with some of it yeah normal i I definitely would um but it's uh, yeah it's so much fun and there's certainly no difficulty really picking up the beat to it i think even if you're not particularly musically inclined you're not going to struggle because it starts off not only does it start off with a simple beat, and it's all, it's usually basically just like a one, two, three, four type beat, but also if you notice, like the the scenery, it has torches and stuff, and then the torches will be kind of like exploding to the time of the beat as well. So if you're struggling to hear it a little bit, you've got like visual cues and stuff. Um, it is. I mean, it is a little bit repetitive, I think, but that's not really. The development of the story, there is a story. It doesn't matter what the story is because you're not playing it for the story. Yeah. It's it's a case of, like Guitar Hero, you're going to go back and you're going to replay your levels and you're going to try and get a higher score every time and you're just going to jam out to the music and compare yourself to your friend's scores as well. At the end of every level, you'll see where you are on the global um, on the global list. I ranked 2,000. I think that's oh, pretty good. <laughs> fancy you. Um, but the music's absolutely banging as well. So yes. the, the music was recorded by um, a band called... Uh, it's actually two people called Two Feathers. But then you've got um, guest vocalists. So you've got like Matt Heafy from Trivium, Alyssa White from Arch Enemy, Randy Bice from Lamb of God, Serge Tankin. I haven't played the Serge Tankin level, which is a bit of a relief to me because I can't stand System of a Down. Like every time I hear them now, I think like, oh why were they so popular oh in the late oh 90s? <laughs> <laughs> it just sounds like yodeling to me. And it doesn't matter what playlist you put on on Spotify either. System of a Down will always... You can put on Monday morning chill mood and so, uh, System of a Down will fucking be on it. You just can't get away from them. I'm never list... a massive fan of them either, mate. I'm on your side. Mm. The, the list of people on it, you Randy Blythe from Lama God, Mikhail Stanner from Dark Tranquility. His track is fucking banging. Uh, Tatiana Schmiluk from Ginger. Uh, Bjorn Strid from Soilwork. Um, where else have we got? Serge Tankian from System of Down. James Corton from Black Crew Initiate. James Dennis... Corden? No, James Forton. <laughs> oh, I can Gordon. imagine if it's just James <laughs> Corden. James, you got James the... Corden from Cats. You got to the vocal bits and he was just like, hey! Happy <laughs> uh, uh, Dennis... karaoke, guys. Dennis Lickshin from Refused. Alyssa White Glues from Arch Enemy. Matt Heafy from Trivium. Uh, uh, yeah, that's the list of the singers on it, yeah. So it's basically a Kerrang album, then, yeah. Oh, it's some really good stuff. I mean, uh, in the best uh, possible way. <laughs> I, I, I don't think I've reached it yet, but the, the one with uh, Tatiana from Ginger, I, I'm looking forward to that because that girl Ooh, that can is scream. A, yeah, that is a really good one as well, and that's the only one actually. I think that's the song that I've slightly struggled to keep tempo with, but um, yeah, it's it's just like I said, it's just sheer dumb fun and turn it up really, really loud. Fuck your neighbours, just crank it. Don't listen to it through <laughs> no. headphones. You want like your entire furniture to vibrate whilst you're playing it. 
<laughs> and, and I, I, have, I like... do like how it gives you a purpose for wanting to do that. So the, the more you combos you put together and the more you level up, it starts to unlock more of the music. So it'll just start with a beat. And then if you hit like a plus four or some of the guitars will come in, then once you get the plus 16, that's when the vocals will hit in. Yeah. So there's a reason for you to try and get that score up rather than just getting a top score. You want to hear this track. Mm. And it's so satisfying. I got to level three, which is like a, you get this gun you got on that is a two shot gun. And it was just satisfying just going bang, bang, reload, bang, bang, yeah. reload, bang, bang, reload, like that to the beat. And the, uh, just once, once you get into the floor and hit it, it's really satisfying. And then if you get knocked out, you're like, for oh, fuck's sake. Like, yeah. But yeah, getting into the rhythm with the guns is. I think all the guns, all the weapons really do that, fun. don't they? Yeah. But, like they yeah. are. Like, they are special abilities as well. Like the, the pistols, you can put like a ghost version of yourself to help you. And you can, so at the front and you can run around and do it at the back. And I found the pistols so far, like I said, I've only done three levels, but the pistols so far have been the easiest to get yeah. a beat out of. But the shotgun and the other gun, I don't know what it's called, they're more satisfying because the super gun. Great. Yeah, the shotgun, because the shotgun's like, Shoot, pump, shoot, pump, like, and then you've got to hit the reload. So you have, you have arrows coming in on the screen, kind of telling you where to hit on the beat. Yeah, it's Which like bullets I per minute, find isn't it? A bit, oh, yeah, that's what that does. a bit distracting, other than when it's telling you to reload. Mm. Um, yeah, because yeah, yeah, no, you say like the Gears of War style active reloads, isn't it? You like get a bonus out yeah. of it. Mm. And yeah. it's, it's a it's a very good shotgun. It reminds me of kind of a, of, of a Doom shotgun. It's very satisfying. Thunk Nothing's to it. as good as the super shotgun on on the original Doom. It's not. That's it, the best gun. It is Doom, a good shotgun, and yeah, you do get it shotgun. on the first level as well, which is very uh, yeah. Because you, you, you start you start, you start off with a sword, and then there's that skull that throws fire. But then they just give you a shock. It's like yeah, fuck it. I'm not using anything else for a while. <laughs> yeah, the sword. I don't. Cool. I haven't gone back to using the sword. <laughs> They're not very. Um, oh, then against the guys with the, the shields. With the shields, yeah. The guys with the shields, if that works I kind of have to use the, the sword, but everything else, it's like get those guns going. Yeah. So there's this, a couple of weapons coming up for a, you as well that are just oh my god, incredible. This is a um, first-person shooter with a heavy metal soundtrack. Biggie, this seems like your cup of tea because you've been very quiet, mate. This sounds like you do not want to play this game. <laughs> 